Good afternoon, St. Louis, and welcome to Studio STL. I'm your host, Chelsea Haynes, and happy Friday, Junior, to you. We're almost a Friday, but it's Thursday, so we're going to throw it back to the school house of rock. There's a great new craze that's sweeping the nation. Come on, do the circulation. Starts with your heart, what a great sensation. Well, like Come Schoolhouse Rock says, it's all about circulation and the cardiovascular system. And joining us at our Fox 2 studios today in our lobby is Tiffany Jones with Cheryl's Herbs. And we're going to be walking through how you can use herbs to increase your heart health. Thanks so much for being here with us today, Tiffany. Yes, I love it. I love it. Thank you. So. It's all about the circulation. There you go. It's the all about the heart health. There you go. I love it. <laughs> hey, keep it singing. Keep it going. And a lot of times people think of February as Heart Health Month, but we always need to take care of our heart. You know, that's so important. And so a lot of people don't realize 650,000 people each year have heart disease. Yeah, and die from it. So that's one in four deaths that we see. So our goal is how do we improve that circulation? How do we make it better? And you can so do that with herbs. that's right. You can do that with herbs. That's that right. Amazing. Because it's interesting. People see plaque build up in their arteries. And when we're young, it gets taken care of. We don't have to worry about it. But as we get older, the body's defense of that is a lot harder. You're so, moving a lot less. Right. You're kind of eating just whatever yes, is wherever, are. especially that's when you're right. trying to juggle the kids. Exactly. What do you recommend for people who might be suffering from high blood pressure? Yeah, so we're going to talk about that with our herbs. Over here to your right, some of the best ones. I love hawthorn berry. And you can even find hawthorn berry berry on trees here in Missouri. Ooh. But hawthorn berry is known by many herbalists to help. It's like one of the best heart tonics there is. So hawthorn berry is something I suggest. Also hibiscus flowers. Mm. Have you ever seen hibiscus They're so flowers? beautiful they and so are, pretty. They <laughs> are. Well even the herb as it's dried, it's very aromatic. Can you smell oh, that? Oh, that smells amazing. Doesn't it smells like cranberries. Smell good. Almost. That's right. <laughs> and hibiscus is a great anti-inflammatory. So that's what we're trying to work on. We're trying to help those um, arteries to be built up and healthy and everything. Oh, so, uh huh. And speaking of these two teas, right. you brought in some today. I Which did. one is this? So this is hibiscus. We made hibiscus tea for us to try and drink. Yeah. If you'd like, I can pour some and you can give it a try. We see that it's just red. And you don't so have to pretty drink all that. and beautiful. It is beautiful. That's right. What a pour. So, I, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but the flowers, like I said, are great for the heart health. It, it smells, smells delightful. Good. I love drinking it. Now, of course, what I gave you doesn't have anything added. No honey, nothing like that. But I love drinking it. It doesn't in the even need it though. Mm -hmm. It is a little, it's a little tart. So yes. if you want to it's add nice some honey, just a That's little right. bit, you can. There you but go. This is delicious. Yeah. And so all of that, trying to help the heart, trying to help it to be healthy. Having a cup of hibiscus tea is wonderful. So I'm definitely going to have to add that yeah. to my regimen. <laughs> to that was regimen. so good. But you also have a lot of extracts. That's right. At Cheryl's Herbs. You brought in two for us today. What I two did, do we have? I did. So I have three here. Like I always tell you, they're the herbs on the go. So you can take. So we have a heart um, extract that we make that's great for supporting the heart health. Matter of fact, if you go on our website and type heart, it brings up a lot of information like a broken heart or how to have a healthy heart. All of those things are listed on our website, How the Heart Tonic I, I just learned something. You have herbs for a broken heart. Yeah, we do. We do. So very interesting. And that can be a broken heart, whether we're breaking up in a relationship or maybe we've lost someone in death. That's important to heal the heart then, too. Well, those herbs really do go along. <laughs> they do, they do. And then lastly, I have motherwort. I bought it in the tincture as well as the dried herb because several on our team talk about how bitter it is. So sometimes making a tea you might not want to do, you can have the liquid extract. But motherwort is a herb that's known. It's almost like your mother giving you a hug. Aww. And sometimes we need that for our heart. Healing, that's right. Like you said, kind healing of just the healing heart. the broken heart. That's right, healing the heart. So, so these are some of the herbs that can help us to have a healthy heart, whether it's broken, whether we have buildup of plaque, 
any kind of thing. Improving so. circulation, right. all those things. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. And I mean, you have classes yes. going on at Cheryl's yes. Herbs as well. Tell us a That's little bit right. about those. Yeah. So matter of fact, today we have a class. Today at 6 p.m. Um, the public is invited. We're going to be talking about growing your own herbs and That's how you exciting. can do so. I know. We're Maybe gonna I can work on my green thumb. There you go. That's <laughs> right. Yes. And then if people are interested in learning more about upcoming classes, Tiffany, where can they find you? Yeah. So they can find us in Maplewood. We're at 7233 Manchester Road in Maplewood. And we do have our classes listed online as well for people to try. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here with us today. I'm going to finish working on this hibiscus tea. This was so good. Yes. And while I sip on my tea, we're going to get you up to date and caught up on your news headlines. We're sending things inside to the studio with news anchor Dan Gray. Hey, Dan.